today I want to talk to you about blooming where you are planted. Using the phrase in this way encourages resilience in your life. Sometimes life can be hard. Things don't always go according to plan. Even in less than wonderful situations, we have control over how we respond. Blooming where we are planted is to make the choice to respond in a positive manner. It's in agreement with another familiar phrase that we know, making lemonade where life throws you lemons. When many Israelites were exiled to Babylon, they were in a less than wonderful situation. But God told them, in a way, to bloom where they were planted for that time. Jeremiah 29, 4-7 says, This is what the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel, says to all those I carried into exile from Jerusalem to Babylon. Build houses and settle down. Plant gardens and eat what they produce. Marry and have sons and daughters. Find wives for your sons and daughters in marriage so that they too may have sons and daughters. Increase in number there and do not decrease. Also, seek the peace and prosperity of the city to which you have been carried into exile. Pray to the Lord for it, because it, if it prospers, you too will prosper. See, God knew they were to bloom in this situation. They were in and not wait for something to change in their situation. Man, life can be tough. Believe me, I know. But just like in seasons, we don't just hide in the winter until spring comes, but we continue to live life and live it to the fullest. Like Pastor Neil said recently, live life on purpose. See, plants go through transplant shock if you repot them and move them around too much. They can be stunted or even die if it's not the right season or done in the wrong way. Sometimes we just need to take what we have and grow deep roots and do all we can to serve and make the situations we're in better. So I read about transplanting plants. Plants are designed to stay in one place. We are designed to live in community, invest in that community. Plants put down roots, deep or wide, and remain where they are until they die. It is us who move them around to a new home. When plants move from one place to another, it's called transplant shock. It's difficult to watch newly planted plants adjust their new growth to the new environment. Now listen, I know that we live in a military area and those heroes move around every few years and I get that. This is not about moving homes and areas. What I'm asking and saying is if you have been placed in community or church, do you grow deep in that community? Do you pour your life into furthering the kingdom of God? See, allow God to show you how you can plant and grow deep in the place He has called you and stop looking around for the next best thing. Maybe, just maybe, God is wanting you to help bring productive change to the place you are planted in.